Our last story tonight is about space. For long, the space industry was controlled by governments across the globe, but countries are now opening up. The industry is now opening up. Governments are involving more and more private players, trying to boost innovation. And India is no different. Today, India approved a capital fund for startups. It's worth 1,000 crore rupees. That's around $119 million. This fund will support 35 to 40 space startups. The idea is to help them in the initial stage to make sure that their plan is ready for takeoff. How will this fund work? Will private startups dominate the space race in the future? Our next report has the answers. India's space program is only 62 years old. The ISRO was set up in 1962. India was a young nation state. It had pressing economic and military challenges. But that didn't stop it from dreaming big. In 1963, India launched its first rocket into space. We were no match for other world powers then. The US and then Soviet Union were far ahead of India. But in the last six decades, that story has changed. India has now joined the elite club. It's a key player in the space race. And now it's empowering space startups to revolutionize the sector. Today, the cabinet approved a 1,000 crore rupee venture capital fund for the space sector. It's to boost the startup ecosystem. The initial plan is to help 35 to 40 startups. Each startup will receive anything between rupees 10 to rupees 60 crore. That depends on what stage of development they are on and how it could change India's space industry. Why does India need this fund now? Because the government believes the sector lacks capital. For startups like this, capital in the initial stage can make or break their initiative. Plus, it's a time-consuming business, from designing a satellite to launching one. An initiative like this takes years. The profit only flows when the entire process is done. Usually, traditional investors are wary of funding such a sector, especially when there are no returns for a long time. So the government wants to plug in that gap, and it's crucial. Because India's space economy is worth over $8 billion, the plan is to reach $44 billion by 2033. In 2020, India opened up its space sector for private firms. Since then, there have been over 250 startups. They are allowed to build rockets. They even have access to ISRO's launching facilities. And India is not alone in this. Several countries are mixing public and private sectors in the space industry. NASA collaborates with private companies such as SpaceX, Blue Origin and Boeing. The European Space Agency works with private companies like Airbus and Ariane Space. China is slowly opening up its space industry to private firms and so is Russia. It's because space is increasingly becoming a competitive arena for geopolitical influence. Countries want to ensure that they don't fall behind in this crucial sector. Involving private companies boosts national space capabilities without putting all the responsibility on state-run organizations. So India wants to capitalize on that. Private space startups in the country are aiming for the stars. But this fund could act as a launch pad to help them shoot off. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes. And its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.